Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday the 23rd of October, it's 8.38. Um, I logged on about an hour ago looking for opportunities on the London Open. Um, oh, that's quite big. Let's go across a little bit. Uh, so what I was looking at initially was this tight range here. So you've got the overnight... Um, range which is the is the value area you can you can see it on the Renko's more readily it looks a bit lumpy and bumpy on on all of the other charts to be fair let's just see if we can make that bigger that's better that's better i've just switched screens so my resolution has changed a little bit um so if you can see that gap there that's my target i'll try and talk through what i was thinking so when I, logged, when I logged on this morning, I was marking up the charts and I thought it looked like we might get a bounce and go long. But we've been going, we've been going um, south for, you know, all the last week. So, you know, my options were open <clears throat> as to which way we we're going to go. Um, it looked like definitely on the 60 minute that we've got a short bias. Um, but, obviously, but obviously your overnight ranges. Um, target filled. There you go. We've hit target. So what i was looking at so i was on the i was on a three minute and i marked out i started marking out these ranges so i marked out uh this range underneath here because i liked the bottom of that range there i liked this tweezer um, initially i had this range marked up here um because i thought we might go north i'd marked everything up um i'll see if i've got any arrows left on from any of the other screens no I've, I've deleted them it doesn't matter yeah so I'd, I'd started marking up this i think yeah maybe maybe we're going to go long but look at this really really tight range we've we've opened um, we've opened underneath this range so that that does give us a short bias we're below the ma's that does give us a short bias um, but we had seen cumulative delta coming off uh, and we'd seen it go positive um there's a very 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 little supply there um, but there's very little demand as well so what I did was when we started to break out of this value area, this area that I've marked here. So you can see that small range there. You can see the range there. You can see the bottom of that. You can see the bottom of that. So I just marked that out. When we broke through that, I thought, right, we're going to try and push south. And I did see, I did see, um, we started to see a little bit on the, the inbox histo. Um, and we'd started to see uh, this go negative as well. This is on the three minute um and i basically took that i took the trade blind to be fair i just went right i'm having it i'm having it and then then what i wanted to see was i wanted to see it break out below this range here that's what i was after um to see it break out of that range there um which it did which was brilliant um also if you can see on the 15 minute if i come backwards where's my charts you can see there's a tiny little gap there and i thought right that's going to be my target initially it was going to be the bottom of this range uh here but i thought that yeah it's more likely if we're going to go for the gap it's more likely to get to here before we start seeing buyers um and that's it really that was uh, a very very quick trade it i took it let me see if i can work out when i took it let's just get this on yeah okay we've completely gone now so yeah i could have put my target a little bit lower doesn't matter we got what 25 points 100 ticks 100 ticks out of that this morning which is great um so my trade is just before 8 30 it's about 8 25 something like that 8 25 so we've been in it been in the trade 15 20 minutes um and it's taken me that long to to, to fire up the other screens and get obs running um but there you go that's a trade for today if you like that like and subscribe below and we'll try and do some more trades this week I haven't really been trading uh, manually at the moment i've got i've got some algo pools that i run um, which have been struggling to be fair with the uh not only with the the, the ukraine war uh but also with with the stuff coming out of the middle east the hamas israel stuff as well it's been it, it's been a little bit diabolical and i i've had some uh, i've got some algo pools that run some some gold algos 
Um, so yeah, they've they've been there or thereabouts, and I've been having to uh, keep an eye on them quite a lot. Um, anyway, that's why I've not been manual trading. I will always, if I am trading, I will always try and fire up OBS if I can see a trade. Um, it's difficult sometimes. You see a trade and you're in it and you're managing it and you you don't have a chance to fire up OBS. OBS it, it's managing another piece of software as well as trading is a little bit of a juggling act. So. I sometimes do it. I try to do it as much as I can so I can get videos uploaded, but I don't do it all the time. So, um, but if I do, um, I will fire it up. Um, and sometimes if I take the trade, I will go back and then I'll do a review um, and I'll just go back over over my thoughts, um, but it won't be a live trade. So that's, that's the difference between doing something live and then doing something after the fact. The, the only reason is I'll have taken the trade, I'll have managed it and it, it's you know it's taken up a lot of my mental capacity and I haven't had, haven't had a chance to switch screens and fire up OBS. That's it. Anyway, um, if you like if you like what I'm saying, uh, like and subscribe below, and then we'll do some. Uh, hopefully, we'll do some more this week because I've got a bit of free time. Brilliant. Cheers, guys.